The EFM1 is a simple FM synthesizer. Its structure is consisting of a carrier section. This is a bit we actually hear, which makes it uh, made from an oscillator going through an amplifier, which is controlled by an envelope generator, then to the output. Then the frequency of this oscillator is modulated by another one. This oscillator here modulates that oscillator. So the volume of this oscillator determines how much modulation there is of the pitch of this carrier oscillator. And you can dynamically change how much with an envelope generator. So two oscillators are basically uh, interacting to create the timbre. With the EFM1, here is our car carrier oscillator and its output level and envelope generator here. And our modulator oscillator is here and its amplitude control is the FM depth and the, its envelope generator is here. So to create a sound, we just have to play it and then uh, have some interaction. So this is actually being like a volume control for this modulator. As its signal level gets larger, we get more distortion of the sound here, and that creates a different tone. Now, the design of the EFM1 is a bit strange in my opinion because we don't normally use this control here at all. We really send our modulator through the amplifier to control the a modulation amount and we do it via the envelope generator. So we normally use this control here. So if I want to shape the amount of modulation so as to change the timbre dynamically, this envelope allows us to change that. So normally I don't use this control at all. If I want to have more extreme modulation, I turn this up. And I virtually never use this in the negative side. I always go from zero up to the plus. So we've got the two envelope well, generators. This one's controlling how the tamper changes. And this one here controls the overall volume. So currently the overall volume is maximum all the time. So our timbre changes, goes to the maximum and then decays to zero. And we've still got sound because the sustain is maximum. We could do something like this. So now it's decaying to zero slowly. We can hear the sine wave at the end. But the timbre is being controlled by this envelope generator here and it's decaying away faster. So the basic operation is this modulator modulates the carrier via an amplifier controlled by the envelope generator. The different types of sounds we can make, we can make by changing the modulation amount and the envelopes and the frequency ratio between the carrier and the modulator.